Hello, this is Dr. Maya. Let's continue the conversation about fatigue, chronic adrenal fatigue, and today we'll be talking about micronutrient level in your body that will help you to fight fatigue, and actually that is what is impacted by stress, infections, inflammations, and all of that because when you have a lot of stress and when you have an infection, then your requirements for uh, for the level of nutrients in your body is being increased, whatever it is, emotional stress, mental, physical, athletic, and so on. So what, is a, what, what are the micronutrients and why they are being depleted and how we know what to do and what to take or what food to eat and at different uh, times in your life when, when you are, uh, are susceptible to stressors and being stressed out and being fatigued and having insomnia and all the symptoms associated with adrenal fatigue. Um, now, our, our micronutrient test that, that I do routinely for my patients, for myself, we usually do it either once a year or twice a year. It is the assessment of how your protective cells in your body, your B cells, T cells, lymphocytes, how they pro proliferate. So how fast they multiply when uh, you actually need it because when you have an infection, fatigue, inflammation, and so on, you want your cells to replicate so fast to heal your body quickly. This is what we mean when we say, when, when I say that your body has an ability to heal itself. So how does it heal itself? If you have any sort of inflammation or trauma, you have B and T cells that are activated and going to the site of a trauma or in a systemic level and help to deal with that situation. So that is body's innate mechanism. You don't even have to do anything about it. You don't even need to know anything about it. All you need to know is to have enough of them in your body to actually deal with that situation. And nutrients are required for your B and T cells to replicate fast. So when you don't have enough, they cannot replicate. And then your body will be sluggish, your metabolism will be low, and your inflammation will become chronic. So what is the, that task that I usually do and absolutely love it because it provides me with excellent results and when I hear somebody has a particular symptoms, I always encourage them to do this test as soon as possible so we know what kind of a deficiency we are dealing with. If somebody has a fatigue and insomnia, I immediately suspect certain amino acids and vitamins be deficient on functional level means within, inside the cell, not inside the whole blood, like, like you would see in your Quest or LabCorp blood test results that will test you for vitamin D, B12, and you see normal number and you're like, okay, my numbers are normal. Well, what, what else should I test? I, I'm probably not deficient, but that number is incorrect because what we want to test is that level of nutrients inside your T and B protective cells right? Because they need it to replicate. Your whole blood, whatever is floating in it, might or might not get inside the cell. So how the lab that I work with do that? They take your blood, they separate lymphocytes, and they test lymphocytes on the presence of these nutrients, how they start adding nutrients in and see if your uh, cells will, will replicate fast or not, if they are sluggish to start with, if they add some B vitamins, they will become faster, replicate faster. So this is what the technology that they use. So we can get real levels of this uh, nutrient. So what, what do we test? What, why I test this lab specific lab results? All B vitamins, we test antioxidants, um, minerals, uh, we test a lot of amino acids and amino acids, they're super important for nervous system as much as B vitamins, but uh, as well as like amino acids are very important for your brain function, cognitive function. Uh, all, I think all about 88, 82 or 88 nutrients. I do not remember. I have it somewhere here, but I do not remember that. So. Based on this test, I can very accurately assess how much and how, for how long you might need to have a certain supplementation. And we can always create a nutrition and then you will know 
what it is that your body requires at this moment. So it is not a genetic test. Sometimes people think, oh, if I am low, it's probably genetic. I probably need to take it all the time. No, it is what's going on in your body for about six months because this is how long lymphocytes live in your body. So like about three, six, maybe eight months or so on. So I assume six months. And so this is a pattern for the last six months of what your body's been dealing with, how your body was struggling to recreate how to replicate how repair and so on so we can figure out what kind of a supplementation how much of that and how to supplement it in your nutrition so what foods do you need to eat now why your levels will be low some of you are extremely healthy and eat healthy foods it can be low for multiple reasons so two specifically i will talk about one is that you if you're experiencing high level of stress emotional or physical it can be athletic you train a lot and that is why your body needs more of the amino acids more of the b vitamins and you might not get enough from your food and the second is your digestive function might not be as well as good as you think and you might not absorb this nutrients and if you don't absorb them then you don't have enough of them so, and uh, another one actually, another cause it can be that you might not have a specific nutrients that are required for the cells to actually absorb it from the bloodstream. For example, we need zinc to absorb calcium from the bloodstream. And if you don't have enough zinc, you might not absorb calcium. It's gonna float in your blood and it calcificate uh, inside muscles. So that is all, it's, so it's not just that you might be deficient in it, it might also be dangerous because it can create some sort of a chain reaction. It's better to test, better to test and know, and when you know, uh, 